Hello, everybody. Today I'm showing you my rearing of the Japanese moon moth, Actios gnoma. Actios gnoma is a moon moth that's endemic to Japan only. So it's, it's actually a quite special species in that regard because it's an endemic moon moth uh, that, as I said, can only be found in Japan. So they are not offered for sale that often. It's not a rare species. But you just have to be lucky to know somebody in the area who can get them. And they have lovely caterpillars that are doing well on uh, uh, Bertula. What's the English name for Bertula? Let me think for a second. Oh yeah, it's Birch. That's right. And I'm gonna take one big larva out here from a branch just to make nice pictures of them. Come here. Come here. I want to give you a close-up. These moon moths from the Far East can be difficult to identify in my opinion. Of course, Actios gnoma is a quite recognizable species, but there's a few species in the area that are difficult to tell apart, such as, for example, Actios aliena, Actios chukvisti, Actios artemis, Actios dulcinea. And I think since recently there are a few more described species. Either way, this is truly a Actios gnoma, so we need not worry about this identification. Luckily for us. Um, yeah, so it's just one of the far eastern species. If you look on my YouTube channel, you'll see that I'm also breeding the Actios. What I thought was Actios artemis, but it turns out those are actually Actios dulcinea. Um... I should stop throwing around so much scientific names because maybe some of you will be confused. Uh, in other way, these caterpillars are really easy to raise. Uh, they prefer to be raised here outdoors in the wild if you have the climate for them. Here's an interesting caterpillar of larva of uh, what seems like a ladybug beetle, unrelated to my video, but it's also here in the tree. Either way, um, yeah, they're doing very well on birds and they will feed on a re reasonably broad number of deciduous trees, uh, including oak, including willow, well, including, I'm pretty sure they will accept things like cherry and rose. So if you got those perfect, use them. Uh, I'm kind of happy with the results. I've been looking to breed this species for quite some time, actually. Uh, it's an easy to breed and common species, but it's just rarely offered this uh, Japanese type of moon moth. So I guess I'm kind of lucky. And this is another species I can cross off my list, and it seems that there do not remain many species right now of moon moths that I have not bred yet. I have already bred Achilles dubernardi, uh, Selenen in Poana. Uh, well, this year Gnoma, Dulcine. Um what else is there? Yeah, Menos, Isis, and I think I've covered most of the common species. Thanks for watching. Just a quick demonstration of what's in this sleeve here. I'm gonna take some pictures now and maybe write a care sheet about them on my website. Uh, thank you for your interest, I really appreciate your viewership. And stay tuned because I have some special video projects coming up uh, this year.